Paul McGuire Grimes, KSTP, Minneapolis, St. Paul. Nav, David, it is an absolute honor getting to talk to both of you today. I'm a massive Scream fan. And Nav, when I talked to you for Clouds, I told you how excited I was for this. So I'm just so excited that this day is finally here and I love this new movie. Oh, great. Oh, thank you. Yeah, now Nav, I want to start with you. One of the things I love about the new one is the the emotional connection that is there and the weight that this film carries for the two of you and for Courtney and these characters. Mm -hmm. Do you feel that way as actors having played the characters for 25 years? And did this one just feel differently making it than the other four? I do feel that way. I mean, stepping into Sydney's shoes is always um, really fun and wonderful. And it just feels great to get back into her and find her physicality again and think about where she is mentally and find her strength again. And um, is this one different? It's different in the sense that, you know, Wes wasn't with us. So it was a new vibe on set and we definitely felt his absence, but we certainly felt his presence as well. And he was a big part of every discussion. And, um, you know, the new directors were really phenomenal and uber fans so like yeah. they couldn't have been more excited about making this movie i feel like just as a fan wes would be really proud of this iteration oh, yeah good. now did, you. oh yeah now do you did either of you have conversations with wes before he passed about what he would maybe want out of a scream five because it was only a matter of when that you guys would both get asked again no i mean i, I regret not having more conversations with wes honestly i read his book recently which was really insightful to his you know life and where he came from and how he approached making films so that was really a nice way to connect with him mm. yeah right. and i don't think we ever had a conversation about what the next would be honestly the last time i saw him and his wife ia we went to a concert together um and had a really yeah lovely time and and no scream wasn't the discussion at the time but i'm sure <laughs> he would have loved to have made another one right now scream has some like hardcore fans what has the re you know reaction been like from fans throughout the last 25 years and can you go a halloween season without just seeing ghostface what do they say to you when they stop you on the street. I've never not seen a ghost face on Halloween, <laughs> which is pretty amazing because 25 years ago, I remember us all sitting around like a bonfire and we were in the middle of just finishing up making the film. And I remember someone saying, do you think, like, do you think this would actually be successful enough that there might be a costume? And we're like, nah, no way. And here we are, here we are. I saw one, I was at a pumpkin patch with uh, my kids in October and there was, you know, a little ghost face running around. My son was like, mom, look, go, 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 go talk to him. <laughs> So they, do your kids know that you're like, this is part of your life and part of the franchise. And like, they, yeah. they know that connection. Yeah. Yeah. yeah my yeah. seven year old knows too. He hasn't seen the movie or anything, <laughs> no, but he saw, saw a poster. Mm -hmm. He said, scream. He would say, tell the, the people at the popcorn. <laughs> like you're just going to walk up and go, are you aware? That's me. <laughs> I'm in the movie. Well, I just love that. I mean, the family connection, are, those themes are so vital to this movie and they are just captured here. I got the rap. Nev, David, this has been beautiful. Thank Aww. you for this. And thank, thank you for you so this much. franchise that I just love, love, love so much. So thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Have thank a great you. day. You too.